I have a friend who is giving me groceries. That was piano teacher Christy Robinson more than a year ago. I have um, relatives who have sent me money. Robinson and tens of thousands of other jobless Arizonans were desperate for new federal unemployment benefits. We now know they may have been the victims of a massive criminal attack on Arizona's and the nation's pandemic relief program. But a new report by Arizona's Auditor General puts some of the blame on the state. The Department of Economic Security, the report says, did not put all critical identity verification or other anti-fraud measures in place before paying out CARES Act jobless benefits. DES reports it paid out a staggering $4.4 billion in fraudulent claims. By one account, Arizona was one of five states where initial jobless claims outnumbered the entire pool of workers. It's a national crisis. ID verification expert Blake Hall runs ID.me. His company partnered with DES in the summer of 2020 to block the fraudsters. The agency's director estimates that if claims had continued unchecked, the fraud could have skyrocketed to an estimated $75 billion. We're seeing nation state attacks, organized crime rings, uh, domestic criminals who are just following the playbooks on the dark web. DES now says $1.4 billion in fraudulent benefits have been recovered. More than 200 cases have been submitted to the Arizona Attorney General for prosecution with 100 indictments so far. Here's one of many alleged fraudsters who got away. An information technology worker charged with stealing $300,000 in benefits in Arizona and 16 other states using phony identities. He's believed to be in Nigeria. A DES spokeswoman confirms the agency is seeking contractors to replace its decades-old computer system, which was also linked to long waits for benefits. Live in the newsroom, Bram Resnick, 12 News. Bram, thank you.